Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to get the CEO vest onto your own custom outfits in GTA 5 online. So if you do find this helpful, a like would be much appreciated. But before we get right into it, shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. Now let's get straight into the video. So to start off, you want to come to any clothing store on the map. And then you also want to make sure you put all your money in the bank. Once you do this, you want to go up to the front desk and then from here, equip the outfit you'd like to keep as by doing a glitch, it will delete all your saved outfits. And then delete them all yourself just to make sure the glitch works smoothly. But regardless, they get deleted anyway, even if you don't delete them. From here, open up your pause menu, start up, swap character. Now, in order for the glitch to work, you will need your main character to be a male and it needs to be in the left slot. If it isn't, it won't work for you. From here, make a new female character in the right slot. And then if you get an alert, just accept the alert. Then in the editing menu, just make sure you set it to a female and then hit save and continue. Name the character anything and then take a photo and you should load into a session. By the way, before we do load in, I do just want to let you guys know if you'd like any of your own modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, definitely recommend MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and almost all of the modded accounts now are 100% cash so no need for extra cars and deluxos. They also offer account boosts which is amazing because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below and also the pinned comment. Also don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. Anyway when you load into online you should notice sometimes there are clothing stores, sometimes there aren't. Uh, if there are go to one, if there aren't just find a new session. Now in this new session they should show up on your map so just go to one. In the clothing store you want to just go to the accessories menu on the back right of the store. From here take off any accessories on your outfit so any earrings, also any anything on your wrist, take it off. And from here you want to go to gloves and then equip the black woolen gloves. Now in a moment I will explain to you how to make your own outfits with the CEO vest on. So not just the outfits I show you in this video. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you two outfits to make with the CEO vest to merge them on. But I'll also show you how to do it yourself with your own outfits. So from here head down to bustiers and equip the white lace bustier. This is for the black outfit in the thumbnail. And then from here you want to head down to the sports jackets. And you want to go for the blue puffer jacket on sports jackets. Just up here. So now I'm going to let you know how the CEO vest merge works. So what you need is any open jacket. So that jacket needs to be open. You can choose any open jacket in the game. It doesn't have to be a puffer jacket. And then you need to go to your inventory body armor, show the heavy armor. And this will allow you to merge the CEO vest on later in the video as I show you. But yeah, so just to reiterate, all you need is an open jacket with the heavy armor underneath and you need to save that. And then you can choose whatever pants and shoes you want. Obviously, it's going to be different when you transfer it to the mail. For example, this sports jacket actually turns into uh, the grey jersey. But you can definitely get creative with this, so you can just mess about, choose different sports jackets. But from here, you need to go into utility pants, equip the black battle pants. Uh, this is if you're following along with me and making the same outfits as I make. And then make sure you re-equip your heavy armour. So every time before you save your outfit, just equip the heavy armour. Now, if you're making the same outfits as me, just save it in the same slot, so slot number two, and name it the same as I do. Now for the second outfit for this one, you want to go to spotted muscle pants on sports pants and equip those. Then head over to shoes. On shoes, go on to boots and then go for the red cowboy boots. So just down here, red cowboy boots. What you'll notice though is your heavy armor got taken off, so you'll need to make sure you re-equip your heavy armor and always save it with the heavy armor. So that's the first outfit. I'm also going to show you how to make the green camo outfit in the thumbnail right now. So for that one, you want to go to sports jackets. Well, the designer sports jackets. And then head down to the stylized guffy puffer. So again, this is an open jacket. 
and then you want to head down to Bustiers and equip the White Lace Bustier. After you have this, you want to head over to Pants. Now go to Leggings and you want to go for the Orange Squash Leggings. So these ones here, once you have these, you want to head over to Shoes. Then over on Shoes, you want to head on to High Heel Boots, go for the Deluxe Midnight Combat Boots. So these here. Once you have these, you'll also need to equip your Heavy Armor again, so go to the Inventory Body Armor, show the Heavy Armor. So just to reiterate one last time, if you guys want to make your own outfits with the CEO Vest on, all you need to make sure you do is equip a open jacket with a heavy armor underneath. And this can be any open jacket in the game. So yeah, you don't have to just use these two outfits, you can make more outfits um, and save them. But I'm just doing these two. So once you have your outfits all saved, all you need to do is just open up your interaction menu. And then take the easy way out just to force the game to save. Now open your pause menu, go to online and start up creator. Now in Creator, just go on to Create a Race and then you want to make a new land race. From here, the title, description and photo, they don't matter, so they can be anything. But what does matter is you need to set the max players to 3, and set the route type to point to point. Now choose any supercar, and then you want to warp to the airport. Now over here, go to placement, place the trigger anywhere, take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now you want to place checkpoints until the race is at least 0.62 miles long, I think it is. So you'll see at the bottom right is a red warning icon. Once that goes away, you can just test the race. Now on this alert you want to accept it, and then open up your pause menu quickly, go to online, start up choose character. Now in this menu here just delete your female character, so make sure it isn't your main character that you're deleting. Now from here, if you're on the new gen consoles, what you need to do is hover over the second character and then join someone in an online session who is in a different targeting mode to you and that should take you to story mode. But if you're on PC or old gen, just press B or circle, so back out into story mode. And then from here, you just want to start up a new online invite only session. Now when you load in you'll notice you have the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning so from here you want to go ahead and save this and you can save it at the bottom so to slot number 20. Now from here you want to register as a CEO and then you want to head over to this clothing store on the map. Once you're here open up your interaction menu you want to go to the map lip options, set the jobs to custom and you want to show the stunt races and you want to go to this exact stunt race. From here though, you want to go to your CEO style. Switch over to the El Jefe outfit. So it should have the CEO vest outfit on it, so now go into the blue circle, press right on the D-pad, and it should take you up into this menu. From here, hit confirm settings and then hit play. In the first menu you want to hit confirm and continue, but in the second menu you want to wait a few seconds and then quit. When you load in you want to go into the clothing store and then press right d-pad onto any menu. Now from here just wait until you get kicked off of the menu.
Now that you have been kicked, you just want to retire from your CEO. And then you want to open up your pause menu. You want to go to online jobs, play job. You want to go on to bookmarked. Then head down to missions and start up. It's a G thing, so you will need to bookmark this on Social Club. I'll leave a link to it in the description, so just bookmark it. And then restart your game and it should appear right here. And then start it up. Now in this menu, set up clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start us up. In this menu here, you want to scroll two to the right and then ready up. Now when you load into the mission, you want to go to any one of your apartments, but you'll need to know where they are as they won't show up on your map. In your apartment, just go to your wardrobe, and from here you want to go ahead and save your outfit, so save it at the bottom so out of the way of the other outfits. After you've saved it, you can just delete the two outfits that you used to make this one. And then once you've deleted those, you can quit the job using your phone. Now you should be able to equip that same outfit using your interaction menu and from here to get the next outfit you just want to start up it's a G thing once again to so open your pause menu go to online jobs and then go to bookmarked start up it's a G thing on missions once again you want to set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up now in this menu here you want to scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up from here in the mission you just want to go to one of your apartment wardrobes in here just go ahead and save your outfit to any slot and then after you do so quit the job using your phone And there you go, that's how you get the CEO vest onto your own custom outfits in GTA 5 online. So I hope you did find this helpful. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. Also, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And if you made it this far into the video, comment CEO vest down below and I'll try and heart your comment. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.